Yo, what's up you guys? Welcome back, day two, Stainahatchee, headed out, going to a different place. Hopefully it's a little bit more, well, a little bit more filled, a little bit more of a harvest we can get. We're gonna try it. Some people that come here every year, they told us a spot, so I'm hoping it's shallower so the kids can get in and the wife doesn't have to deep dive down as deep as yesterday, because it was like eight foot yesterday. When I really started finding them, it was so deep, I I could barely even get down there. I'm not much of a hold my breath free diver, but we're out here. We're coming out of the no wake zone. Let's go find some scout. I forgot to mention, my mom and Jim, they ordered, they, they got a pontoon boat for the day, so they're gonna be tagging along with us today. So let's freaking go. All right, guys, we're gonna cut in right here real quick. We have got to tell you a little story about that morning, what exactly happened, and uh, crazy, craziness. So we woke up that morning, we were getting ready to go scalloping, and you woke up and what happened? Well, I got my coffee, stole my pajamas, and I realized, I looked down, and I didn't have my wedding set on. So of course I panicked and I went and looked through my shorts, looked in the little bag that I had put it in, you know, like at night or whatnot, or when I'm taking a shower, nowhere to be found. So of course I let Clayton know, I'm in panic, I'm running around trying to find this, you know, wedding ring set. And uh, I told him like, you're gonna have to go scalping without me, you're gonna have to take the kids and I'm not leaving this house until I find my ring set. So. Yeah. The night before it was the 4th of July. So we were out on the dock watching fireworks yep and i had taken my set off and i was rubbing this natural like bug repellent on east end and it got everywhere so that's why i took it off i didn't want it on my rings and to my knowledge i stuck them in my pocket my front you know pocket out my shorts but i guess not because they weren't there when i went searching for them so she searched the whole house and finally, I walked out to the dock where we were sitting. We had some chairs set up, watching the fireworks. And I, I just, you know, I just walked out there looking. And I'll throw up a picture. I found the wedding ring. And I'll throw up a picture right now of where exactly I found them. It was in between two boards on this dock. So I was too scared to walk around too much because it's an old dock and it's rickety and... If, you know, I was scared if I stepped somewhere, it'd space them out and it'd drop in the water below. So I went inside and I told her and... Of course, panic set in. Cause I'm like, yeah. oh my God. Like, I thought I already lost it. But now there's a chance to save it. <laughs> so we got the tweezers. Yep. I had tweezers with me. Women always bring tweezers with you. <laughs> so we got tweezers, went outside. And uh, yeah, we started trying to mess with it, but it was stuck. Like, we couldn't pull it out. So, so we had to step on the boards to kind yeah. of space them out. And, and she I, was able to get And them. I was able to get them with the tweezers. So, you know, sigh of relief. That was, you know, your wedding, you know, ring, the big part. And then I was like, well, my band's gone. Like, it's gone. It fell in the water. Like, it's tiny. There's no way it would have got stuck between the boards. It's gone. And he's like, nope, just keep looking, keep looking. And sure enough, he found it again. Well, I saw just a glimmer. <laughs> Just a glimmer of it in between the two boards. Now the dock, it's a floating dock, so it has like those big like blue barrels underneath it. And luckily it was on top of one of those blue barrels, but- It like went through. But it was like yeah. on the, the side of it, like wedged in between it. And we grabbed a, a knife, a big, uh, yeah. actually this knife right here. Yeah. We took this knife and we stabbed it in the ring like in the center of the ring we stabbed it in the barrel so it couldn't go nowhere so it wouldn't fall nowhere and uh we got a coat hanger and made like a hook out of it tried to get it out but came close to losing it with yeah it. it fell off the hook and then finally i was like i'm gonna try i'm just gonna pull the whole damn board up it's an old rotted thing so i walked down there and hell i just lifted the board up and she, I was able to get it. She just grabbed it. It was like, oh my God. I wanted to cry. I wanted to cry because I lost it and then cry because a sigh of relief that we were that lucky to find it. Like, hero world award goes you, to you him. Don't, you don't get that lucky. That is, that is crazy. Yeah. And that you drop a wedding ring on a dock. Yeah. Not even a wedding set. Yeah. Like two rings. 
and you find the whole damn thing. And, and if it would have dropped under the water, I probably would have begged him to go under there and his yeah. scuba gear, or not yeah. scuba gear, She would have wanted me to put my damn mask on and go under that old nasty ass dark. Oh, I would have been really bad, but. It's the last thing. <laughs> no, we ain't doing that. Ugh, but, but so, so grateful that we found it. I mean, I was in my pajamas. I mean, literally, people were like passing by us on the boat, looking at us. We're like, ah, just ignore us. We're on. <laughs> we're just crawling around on the dock on our all fours, just. At like the hell are these seven a.m. in the morning. <laughs> oh, but we found it. I have my ring back. Never taking it off again. <laughs> at least not over a dock. <laughs> well, that's not the end of it. No. We we had a we had another event happen a little bit later on in the day. So. We're going to go back, show you all some of the scallop in action, and uh, we'll see you guys back here when the next event happens. Yeah. <laughs> and we're going to stop and wait for your old pontoon boat. <laughs> It's chugging along back there. guys we're wore out that's it all the scallops are going all the scallops are going all the scallops are going that's it that's the moment i knew i frigged up you know like i mean it's terrible we spent all day getting scallops Oh. Another God, cry. that's another cry. Mm -hmm. I was so mad at myself for that. <laughs> and the bad thing about it was my mom and Jim, they were out there and they had stopped a little bit uh, before us and they had found like 30 or so scallops. And when they came to us, they put all their scallops in our bag. So yeah, we like lost their scallops too. <laughs> 
Oh my God, it was terrible. <laughs> Luckily we had enough left over from the night before yeah. that that night we, we took what we had left over down there and uh, we had made some scallops, a little scallop app appetizer. But after that happened, I turned the camera off and I was done for the day. I was so mad at myself. All right, guys, I was just watching some of that footage and realized I didn't really show you guys how I had the bag hooked on the boat when we lost it. So I was out here getting the boat ready for tomorrow's adventure. But right here, I don't know. I shouldn't have done it, but I mean, who the hell's going to forget their scallops hanging on the side of the boat? But right here. This little pin, I just had it clipped on that and it ripped this pin off. I mean, this little like a uh, key ring, it just, it just pulled it, pulled it, pulled it, pulled it loose off of that side. Over here, that's all that's left is that key ring that held, you know, just held this pin. Ugh. Back to the video, but we're making up for it now. We got some scallops out here. I'm gonna put some of this, uh, this Cajun two-step, which was pretty damn good Cajun seasoning. I'm gonna do it on these. And then these, I'm gonna do some of this Louisiana fish fry batter. I'm not gonna do very many. I'm just gonna do a few of them just to see if we can get a, get them. I don't know, just, just trying different things. We cooked some bacon and we got some grits going. We're doing, instead of shrimp and grits, we're gonna do like a scallop and grits. All right guys, getting ready to drop these scallops in this hot oil grits we got five minutes just quick grits one thing we do is add uh what is it chicken bouillon mm -hmm. yeah so just use chicken bouillon uh water we use the little cubes you can just add to the water to make the bouillon add some cheese it hell you can add whatever you want really to it we had parmesan some cheddar hey what are you talking about over there Add some cheese in it. It's gonna be good. It's always good. But let's drop some of these scallops in this hot oil. You don't want to overcook them because then they're just gonna get chewy. So you want to kind of cook them fast. Try a fried scallop and some fish batter. I'll do a big one. Mm. Pretty good fried, huh? <laughs> I don't know, those are awesome. Pretty good. Little bit chewy, like I'm talking a tad bit, like just a just yeah. a hair probably overdone. But you can still taste like the scallop taste in them too. Oh, no, that's really good. No, that's really good. Awesome. Good, huh? Mm-hmm. You like them the best so far? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> super, super good. They're so tiny. <laughs> I, I wish they A were bigger. A lot of work goes into them things. I know, I wish they were bigger. And then we lost probably, I don't even know what, Two and a half gallons? Yeah, probably at least two and a half gallons. I told him, I said, well, maybe we'll get lucky uh, and... Uh, we went back. Yeah. I had the GPS running. And I mean, we followed the track. I mean, it, it showed us right where, right where it was. We, <laughs> I was we, we, we went as far as I put my friggin' mask and goggles and snorkel on. And I pulled them with the boat. <laughs> and she was pulling me along our line, looking for them. And we did that for a while. Even the next day we went out. When it was low tide. When it was low tide and we just eased through. 
I mean, you guys seen it. It's a bright red bag with the white, you know, Phillips plastic bag. on there. We should have been able to see it, but we could never find it. Somebody else probably found it. There's so many people out there. Yeah, they're like, oh, what's this? <laughs> Either that or that next morning, there was a lot of dolphins that we saw, and I was like, oh, well, maybe the dolphin, like, was I playing with it? Yeah, playing with it, you know, <laughs> they can be playful, so who knows? Who knows? All right. All right, we're gonna do the rest of these. The ones with the Cajun two-step. And uh, we're gonna make our scalloping grits. Hey, now. <laughs> I guess this is an appetizer. We ain't putting none of these on, on the grits. All right, got our pan all cleaned out. Put a little bit of olive oil in there. And I'm gonna get that joker smoking hot and drop them in there just for probably 60 seconds. Super sweet. They are sweet. A little bit, I don't know. I am not a big fan of sweetness. They are sweet. I'm a more salty. But I'd rather them taste like this than like sea scallops when they're fishy. Yeah. Ugh. But I do like sea scallops. But out of these and sea scallops. the ones that were fried in the fish batter. Mm. <laughs> That's a hard one. I like they the were ones. they were good. They were they had good crunch to them. Mm -hmm. You got to cook them hot and fast to. That way you can get the outside crunchy, but not overcook the inside of them to where they're chewy. And yeah, and, and they're yeah. perfect. But I, I I think I like those the best so far yeah. of everything we've we've tried. <laughs> it's like the third way we've cooked them. Yeah. And and I, I think I think I like those. Well, now we gotta try the grits. Well, with cheesy grits and bacon, I know they're gonna be good no matter what. <laughs> so, you guys, we're gonna eat. Hope you enjoyed this video. We, uh, you know, we were lucky and then we were, I guess, kind of unlucky. <laughs> but no okay. matter what, it was a good time. And uh, you guys will see you on the next video. Yeah. See ya.